This is my story to tell. I had a horrific experience with someone and my instinct was at the time I, I was 25 years old and uh, my instinct was to um, be cheerful with him because that was my way of telling myself that it wasn't what I thought it was. That it wasn't as horrific as I thought it was. So I absolutely um, would dismiss that as evidence that um, a rape or sexual assault did not happen. So, so you were in contact with the person who hurt you, and but you didn't confront him about it because you didn't want to tell yourself that's what had happened. Yeah, I, I did. I did down the line years and years later. Right. But at the time, and that's hugely why it's very difficult then to go uh, to the police because they'll go, oh, but you, you know, you you did, you, you text him or you mm. called him or you, or you you were friendly with him when you bumped into him. And mm. so back when I was 25, we didn't know what we know now legally, you know. And so when I heard that that was a defence, um, one of Weinstein's events, my instinct was like, I completely understand oh, why a, a victim would do that. And yeah. you're also like living in a structure that doesn't support women speaking out against men because actually someone along the line is going to say, well, you asked for it or you wore provocative clothing. Mm -hmm. or like the, the entire structure of our society fundamentally is not built for a woman to stand up and say, this man attacked me in this way. Mm -hmm.